This is Carson. He's four. And Caden. He's two. These are my grandsons. And they're my inspiration. I have always worked hard all my life. And it was very hot that summer. Um, and I just thought it was the heat. Because I'm never sick. And I started feeling a little bad. So I thought, well, it's just a virus. Went to the doctor to get my blood pressure medicine renewed. And all my blood test was out of whack. So uh, she sent me to the hospital for a sonogram. I had the sonogram. The radiologist walked in. He goes, oh, you have a mass at the top of your pancreas and it's cancer turned around and walked out. I was devastated. I was just scared to death. I remember walking out, crying and telling Glenn, I have cancer. I never thought that I would have cancer. That began my journey of seeing a surgeon and a gastrologist. And he told me, you need to decide if you're just gonna ride this out or if you're gonna get treatment. But if you're gonna go for treatment, you better hurry. My daughter-in-law gave me a card. I thought it was a get well card. And I looked at it, then I laid it down. I, she looked at me funny, so I picked it up and looked at it again. And she was announcing that she was pregnant. And so I thought, I have got to live to see this baby. So of course I'm going for treatment. And I happened to see a TV commercial for the Cancer Treatment Center here in Tulsa and I knew nothing about them. I called them and uh, everything just fell into place. I began to see all the doctors and uh, have tests and fell in love with it and said this is where I'm staying. And I was bound determined I was going to make it five years so I could have my name on that tree. I had to start seeing Dr. Jag and I was really He's been very special, like a friend to us, and all the nurses and just everyone. It's been like family. I'm so thankful that I came here first, and I thoroughly believe, you know, because of prayer, a positive attitude, and the Cancer Treatment Center, that that's why I'm alive today. been at least probably maybe 15 or so years ago that I started uh, noticing that my blood test PSAs were beginning to show a rise every time I had a blood test and finally they I know they went over four which is not good in fact back then and I'm sure now that's that's cause for a lot of concern but the word cancer scared me, and uh, I was just trying to uh, uh, make it go away, I guess you'd say. Found out the more biopsies, the more, and, and find out they were, they were, um, they were cancer again. Uh, this time worse. Uh, it was uh, bad news, and almost you just know that it's not going to be good. So went back for bone scans, uh, yeah, uh, it, it spread. It's kind of scary, and uh, there wasn't much uh, they could do. Uh, so, <clears throat> what little they did, um, then they said come back in six months. And <laughs> if I'm gonna be alive in six months, okay, I'll be back. <laughs> you know, you, you, you cancer, from the first time you hear it, you think, okay, I better start counting my days. I don't have too many left. I guess I'm on the end of, the, of this deal. So, um, then you don't realize it, but you start putting everything aside, and you know, you forget about things, dreams. You know, you're shutting down.
when you get hope, things come back. I went uh, to my computer, I got on it, and I googled uh, something. I don't remember how I put it, but the answer to the question, whatever I put, was was the top one was uh, Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Thirteen days later, I was in Tulsa. I mean, from the day on the 13th to the 26th, and she right off the bat said, "Well, um, what what you're you're doing right, and what we're doing right, and what they're doing right now." what you already had is is fine but there are some other things we can do and I thought all right <laughs> when I asked the question uh, well what if this doesn't work what are we gonna do and then I get an answer oh we haven't started yet we can we got a ton of stuff we can throw at you and that's you know I like that uh, I like that attitude um, it's just been nothing but good news good news good news and it's, it's been a wonderful experience In my mind, until that Pandora's box is open, I was thinking, I have a DVT, I have a cyst, I'll have laparoscopic surgery, it'll be out, and this will be over. It wasn't really until, you know, having someone look and going, it's cancer, you know, and you want to go, let's move forward. Where do we go from here? What made me make the connection with CTCA was my initial surgery with the gynecologist oncologist who everybody told me gave me the gold standard of care, but he didn't give me the care that I needed. I was set to have chemotherapy in his office. I had traveled out of state and Tulsa had a snowstorm and I couldn't get back. And when I called on the phone to tell him that, he told me I was being an inconvenience. I thought, really? My stomach is killing me. I've just had major surgery. I have a diagnosis of cancer, for God's sakes. So I actually visited with Sibland Williams at Zion, and she was great. And she gave me a lot of information and because she is a gynecologist oncologist it it put me in a better place to make choices and so i came back to tulsa to see tca to do my chemo and follow up it's kind of what led me there it was very different in driving up it was different walking through the door it was different eating at the cafeteria and it was certainly different in the physician all of it I felt like I wasn't alone, but I also felt like I was in charge of what was going on. And that was really, really important to me. And one of the things that made it tolerable, especially at CTCA in Tulsa, was the area where you can get chemo. It, it's planned for everyone. You could be on an internal hallway, you could pull your curtain, you could be there by yourself, or you could sit and look out at a garden and see a beautiful, brilliant blue sky. And that's what I did. Because I didn't see a lot else while I was going through cancer. You know, and knowing that I could get out was what kept me going. Thinking, I will, I will go more, do more, see more. To drive along the south coast of France and see Saint-Tropez. I wanted to take a sandpan in the harbor between Kowloon and Hong Kong. And that's what I've done. Egypt next March. Mm -hmm.